Hey, how's everybody doing today? Okay, Monday, day after Christmas. Product that I've been dying to talk about a little bit. If you're into flight sims, driving sims, I'm a three, I'm a two, whatever, whatever you, you may be into, uh, DCS especially, Microsoft Flight Sim. I can go over and over tons of games, but if you're really into it, you probably own a Track IR. So Track IR makes a standard track IR with a magnetic type strip that goes on a kind of a, a wire that you clip to a, a hat. But if you don't want to be going that route, and actually it doesn't work bad, but if you don't want to go that route, you can move to the track IR 5 Pro. And this is what you would be getting normally. It's, it's a light product. It's basically an infrared reflector it really does improve the accuracy and the track movement of your head like a lot but I kept having problems with this and I was looking for some type of alternative and there really wasn't nothing out there until I came across a site on, on the site that I came across he does a lot of Microsoft flight sim and he was using the same setup as it, that I use the problem that I found with this is I could never kept running into the problem of it crimping on this wire when it would slide down and movement it just doesn't strap on there good another thing i don't like about it that i think could be you know that i think they could improve on it is it's very very flexible it's very flimsy so after coming across overkill site he has a, he does a really good job actually he does a lot of product reviews i seen him do a it wasn't a it wasn't a long review it wasn't a short review but it was, it was a good review on this piece right here which is called the IR Trackstar. It has a lot longer name if you want to get into the IR Trackstar RS Ultralight. And the reason it's called the Ultralight is because it's a lot lighter than what you think. It's 3D printed. It's strong as heck. It has air ventilations in it. One of the big sell points for me was right here. It, it charges by USB-C and you don't need to keep a wire attached to it once it's on. I also found out the Track IR5 Pro doesn't either. You can use it, but the battery doesn't last too long. Not as long as this. It has a lithium battery in it. And the track movement on this, let me just tell you, the track movement on this was superior to what I got from the Pro version of the Track IR. Using the, it works perfectly fine with Track IR5. The Pro is what they call with this set. Once this was added, it was just, I was wowed. I, I'll never go back. So, one of the one of the other yes, one of the main reasons I liked was definitely it was chargeable by USB-C, and when you can tell it's on, it has a little switch right here, and you get a little blue light turns on, that tells you it's on. When it's charging, you get a red light. Now, compared to going from this. which I was always having problems with, and they break. A lot of people I heard, I've heard of breaking these. They break very easy. With this, this thing is no joke. It has that foam pad. You just put it right on here. You put it right on this way. You spin this around. Put it right through the loop. Give it a little tug. You don't even know it's on your head. Now, this doesn't wiggle. And the strength on this is five, ten times stronger than the Pro for the Trek IR. The movement was incredible. It was comfortable. It is adjustable. You can wear it on the left or the right side. I would recommend the left side for reasons unknown. All the companies recommend going off the left side. Another big plus to this is the protruding domes where the it, obviously, it's it's used by a fiber optic that runs through there into an in infrared spot. When you turn it on, it doesn't light up like the other one, except for here. This one, they, you can tell when it's on by some little red dots. Anyways, long story short, is I highly recommend this. If you're going to go out and you're going to get the Track IR5 Pro, this comes with the Pro Set. You're gonna pay another 49, I think $50 for this. I got this on sale, I think it was $69. He was running a special. 
Normal price is 81 bucks, but I can tell you, less, for the extra less than $20, you would you would not regret you can barely even move this thing and i have no problems with moving my headset around you would not regret getting this this is superior i'm not here to dog track ir they make an awesome product i've tried a lot of things nothing comes close to this this is at the top of my list the website you're going to go to if you want to take a look at it is RJ Simtech. It's all lowercase, rjsimtech.com. The owner of the site, his name is Joshua. I don't give out last names. Uh, you can ask him if you ever go there. <laughs> Every time I've tried to contact Josh, within minutes, he's back to me. Any questions I had within minutes, he's back to me. Um, even he has, a, he has a waiting list to get this, but it's not long. I had it within two weeks. I thought I was gonna be waiting like with some other companies. Um, Verpo for one. I, I've been waiting six weeks for them to send me a, a joystick that I ordered from them. I've gotten the base and I've got a couple other. I like the, I ordered the F14. I, I, I just, it's, it's fun to stay with the original if you're into flight sim. So you try to keep it as original as possible. It's just, if you're really into it, it makes the game a lot more fun. I haven't been doing a lot of product reviews because there's really nothing out to review at this point that I'm interested in. I mean, quick rundown, we'll just get into the 40 series. I mean, it came out, I've got one on my computer. It's a huge jump from the 30. I mean, I don't know what they're gonna do with the 50. I don't know what comes next, how, how much faster things can get. It's a big ass card. I ended up going with the PNY. I liked it, it looks good. It runs so cool. It's incredible. It's compared to my 3090 Ti, the temperature is 75% lower. It's, it's, it's unbelievable. But off of that subject, I definitely and highly recommend checking out this site if you're looking on getting a track. Any type of head tracking device, this is the perfect addition. Can't go wrong. So what I will do is put a link down below in this review if you want to call it a review, it wasn't nothing. Don't mind if there's any noise in the background, people. It's day after Christmas. My grandkids are out there trying their best to be quiet for a few minutes. So if you have any questions on this, I mean, definitely hit me up. And there'll be a link down below to Josh's site, which is rjsimtech.com again. And I might do a little, little piece on showing what the movement's like, but just picture the track I are. Uh, when you twist your head around and it jerks and it ends up looking up or something, you don't get none of that with this. This is just, I, this is smooth. It's from tail to tail, all the way up as high as you look, all the way down, it's smooth. I gotta give this guy credit. He, he really did leave a mark on the head tracking community, people that like to use it in games because this, this is definitely something that was needed. So I'm gonna wrap up this video, wishing everybody a happy new year to come. Everyone stay safe. And again, don't forget to give me a thumbs up or a like or even sub if you're new to the channel. Um, I do giveaways once in a while, so there will be one in the near future. I'm still deciding on what I want to do. I might even do a track IR. Um, I might do a joystick. I, I don't know, but there'll be something coming up. Anyways, have a happy new year. I'll try to get another video out, video out before then, but in the meantime, I'm gonna be pretty tied up. So I just wanna wrap this up again with RJ Simtech, thank you. I did pay for this product. I let him know that I was gonna do a review on it after I received it. I wanted to buy it, I didn't wanna get it just for a review. And so that's the way I do things a lot of times. But on that note, I'm gonna be signing off. I've got some things to do on my computer. I am key mapping all of the uh, F-18 and F-16 uh, keys in the uh, game in DCS. They're running a great sale right now. Get on there and get it. it, it everything's like 50% off. It's gonna be for, I think, maybe a few more days. Definitely wanna get it. Those planes can run $80, so if you can pick one up for $40, $39, jump on it. Anyways, that's it from JP. We'll be seeing you soon. Stay safe, peace out, fly straight. Everybody have a great week and a great new year.